Against you, everyone. I should be going to church right now. Uh, but instead, we're cleaning up the mess from the party last night for my, my boy's 15th birthday. And um, also, I've got to fix a uh, still leaking sink. It's probably the faucet this time. And it's really, really annoying to me that that keeps happening. Uh, so, but it's an old faucet, so we got to do it. Anyways, um, this video is about doing some um, retractions or redacted, re redactions or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I like to uh, correct my errors when I make mistakes in my videos. One I made a while back was I accidentally said that I think Chief Ellis is the one that bailed out Waylon Gray during the whole, um, it would have been like 2013, um, when Waylon Gray was falsely arrested for terrorism. Uh, it was obvious trumped up charges. Well, it wasn't uh, Chief Ellis at that point. It was Chief George Tiger, who I did not vote for, and I definitely did not uh, vote to reelect because he did not get reelected for reasons that, if you're familiar with politics that were happening at the time, you know why he did not get reelected. So, so yeah, I got to clean my windows here. <laughs> it looked terrible, but um, whew, I get some hot, cool air for a second. So yeah, um, I, I just want to make a. Uh, a retraction or redaction um, to that because I want to give uh, credit where it's due. Like I said, I didn't vote for George Tiger, but uh, and I would never vote for him, given what I know about the man. But you know, he, he did bail out Waylon Gray, and for that, I um, I appreciate and I want to give the proper proper uh, dues and uh, respect. So, but oh, former Chief Tiger for doing that. Um, the other reaction is my previous video. I, I put, I mentioned Lapine. Now I did make a correction in the description of the video. So at the time of publishing the video, I did make, I did make a correction in the uh, description. It's not Lapine. It was, um, <clears throat> who's actually a Canadian native, uh, martial artist, uh, founder of, uh, Oak Chita, I think it's Lapine. Um, but yeah, so he's not the person I meant to talk about. I meant to mention, uh, Leonard Peltier. It's you know, another native with a French last name, right? That's kind of what threw me off. But um, I mentioned before um, uh, Dana Tiger, who's very sweet and a very talented um, Muskogee artist. And um, she did art recently uh, in support of him, in support of, uh, of amnesty for the guy or um, clemency or, or whatever you want to call it. There's There's been a movement to, to free this guy for a long time. He is... He was arrested in 1973, not for um, wounded knees, I'm, as I mistakenly said, but it was a Pine Ridge. He is the Lakota, Lakota, Dakota, and uh, Chippewa, and he um, he's maintained his innocence this entire time. And so because he's maintained his innocence, a lot of people are supporting him, but none of the presidents have, um, have given him uh, grand clemency and freedom. So here's the thing. There's a reason for that. Obama being the most liberal of all presidents. Okay. And a guy who, um, I, I don't like, but if anyone was going to free this guy, it would have been Obama. If you think about it, because Pelcher is a socialist. Obama was raised by communists and mentored by a communist, Frank Marshall Davis, who might even be his real dad for all we know. Uh, cause he looks nothing like Barack senior anyways. Uh, we're getting to conspiracy land there. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to, um, we'll get back to things, but well, it's kind of like the Apaches were hoping that they can get the, uh, the skull of Geronimo back from George Bush, because now that Obama was about to become president, they figure a non-white president was going to get back the skull of, of uh, their leader. Well, that never happened. Obama didn't care about black people. He didn't care about uh, anybody, but, uh, he really didn't. So I'm sorry, Donald Trump cared more about black people than Obama ever did. I mean, it was Joe Biden and Kamala Harris who from the nineties were disproportionately putting black people in prison for uh, drug charges. And then after the law changed, you still had black people in prison for the same charges that they would nowadays would not even be arrested for, um, <laughs> on a 25 year sentence. Well, Trump freed them. So anyways, um, he made some prison reform at the behest of uh, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and 
and it was the right decision. Uh, Kim Kardashian may be an idiot. Uh, yeah, she's yeah, but uh, but she's right about that. Um, and Trump was right to kind of uh, follow that. Um, anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah. But none of the presidents, long story short, none of the presidents have actually attempted to free this guy. Well, it's because in the early 2000s, some of some of Peltier's people, some of his friends and associates from AIM and whatever, um, admitted that he actually, like, did kill this guy. Like, that he actually did, that he admitted to it or something to that effect um, out, of, out of revenge for the girl that was killed. Now, look, I get it. That woman that was killed... And I'm not going to get into details. Um, that was some questionable stuff. And look, that was the '70s. And I'm not saying that like the FBI is the good guy. Okay, I'm not. Um, but if if Peltier just killed some random FBI agent that didn't kill this girl just because he was pissed off, because it's the same army and we're fighting them, well, I'm sorry, dude. You didn't have an army of people on your side. You had the American Indian Movement that's not a military, it's not a country, and unless you have that, the kind of forces, I mean, look, let's go to the Bundy Ranch a few years back, Alex Jones talked a lot about that, it was a Cliven Bundy, I think it was, it was the father, and uh, basically, that was a whole, that was a whole thing that happened, where like, you had a bunch of patriots stood for him, and then like, federal agents were about to basically invade and, and shoot this guy, <laughs> pretty much, and um, there, there was a stand down. There was a standoff, and then the, the, gov- the government backed down. Why? Because he had an army of American patriots who were going to fight the government. Pelter didn't have that. He didn't have an army of, of, of people on his side to actually fight the government. So if his thought was, I'm going to, and I don't know this, I'm speculating, if his thought was something along the lines of, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm so mad that this girl died that I'm going to go kill one of the FBI agents out of vengeance because some other agent or agents killed her and I'm mad about it. It's, it's them against us. I mean, he was fighting a losing battle from the start and he got, and he had people backing him up and are still backing him up to this day. I mentioned in that last video that, you know, pedophiles who are native still have people that defend them. And I may not have mentioned that girl I dated, uh, her family was, I think I did mention they're, um, native and Hispanic, um, and actually related to Geronimo, apparently, like, I think descended from like one of his nephews or something to that effect. Um, very proud of being Indian, although they have a whole lot of Mexican blood too, but they're very proud of their, of of being Indian. And, um, but at the same time, they're defending their family members who are molesting them or molesting their kids things like that. It's a very, very, uh, corrupt system. So you're going to have natives who eat right or wrong. They're going to defend Peltier. I don't think Dan Tiger is one of those who, who, I I don't know. I mean, I I don't think she's going to defend the guy, you know, even if he's guilty, but I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, a lot of people with good hearts might still do that because of the system in place. Um, and a system at that time that definitely disproportionately hurt natives. There's no doubt about that. Um, and yeah, native women disappear all the time. But like I mentioned before, native facts, AKA natives for Trump. He mentioned the biggest problem we have in Indian country is other natives. It's kind of like, you know, you talk about, there's women, who, women from Mexico being human trafficked and, and, and sold into sexual slavery. Well, who, who are the ones buying them? Well, it's a lot of it's other Hispanics. It's not, it's not a bunch of, um, it's not a bunch of white dudes who are doing the, uh, the raping. It's a bunch of Mexican dudes raping these Mexican girls. And it's like, this is some horrible stuff, man. It's like, you're hurting your own people. What the hell's wrong with you? So yeah, it's like, uh, Mr. Dancing Horse, as I'm going to call him now. Um, Nathan chasing his horse or chasing his tail. I don't care. Whatever. Chasing his tail. Stupid idiot. 
Um, yeah, he went out there and um, took advantage of, prostituted, and uh, yeah, pimped out a bunch of uh, native girls, pretending to be a medicine man. He ha- he's g- I- I'm sure he's going to have his supporters. Although, in his situation, he was kicked off of several reservations, as I understand it. He had to move around quite a bit because he was a predator and they knew it. And um, they booted him out. So he may actually not have the same level of support as others, as George P. Lee and Leonard Peltier. Again, Leonard Peltier's not a pedophile that I'm I'm aware of, at least. But um, you're going to have people that will defend him anyway. But here's the problem, though, is that you have people out there who... um, It's kind of like in the case of Mike Brown where his buddy said that Mike Brown held up his hands and said, you know, like, hands up, don't shoot. But then later on recanted that. And because it got recanted, it's no longer admissible. And it means that his whole testimony is basically bogus. Like, yeah, he was there, but that's about all you can really trust about his testimony. That's because the cops said he was there, <laughs> if you think about it. Well, in the case of these people that uh, defended uh, Leonard Peltier, well, here's the problem. Um, they committed perjury if they were brought into court. That is, but they, you know, if they if they were brought into court, they committed perjury, and therefore, um, their testimony is now bogus. It's BS. In other words, if you think about it, it can't be used at all, either for or against them. And I think, I mean, unless it could be used against them, which you know that would be interesting, considering that they were supporters of him. I, I don't know. It's it's a touchy subject, but but people have recanted their support. They've changed their mind about what they what they actually remember because they well they remember what they remember, but they but they're no longer supporting him because they feel guilty because he actually supposedly killed this guy in cold blood or in hot blood, whichever you want to say. Because I mean, think about it. I mean, he was pissed, so. I don't blame him for being mad about the girl being murdered. I don't blame him at all for that. But I do blame him for, if he is guilty, if if these friends of his are, were telling the truth 20 years ago. And look, if he just went off and said, okay, fine, I did it. Here's why. And I'm sorry for the family, but I was really mad because they killed this innocent girl, this native girl, blah, blah, blah. If he did all that, then... then, you know, maybe he can get some clemency and say, look, okay, I screwed up. Please just forgive me. Please. I've been in jail for 40, 50 years. Please let me out. They keep saying no, because he's, he's never, ever apologized. And if he's guilty, which apparently it would appear not just what the FBI says, but also what his friends say, his friends that knew him at the time, if they're saying he's guilty, well, then why, why would the president grant him clemency? Why would anybody in the right mind, grant him clemency. He, he did it. He's guilty. Leonard Peltier is guilty. So, no, don't support the guy. Support him being in jail. Think about it. He did no favors to the Native community by doing what he did and then lying about it. And then getting all these people to support him and trying to get him for getting the trying to get the Dalai Lama and a bunch of others, uh, foreign emissaries, whatever, to try to like get clemency for him. I used to have a lot more respect for the Dalai Lama, but I mean, you know, you have all these Hollywood movie stars like um, Richard Gere and um, Steven Seagal basically paying him lots of money and now all of a sudden they're gods, right? Figures. So uh, I don't put much stock in the Dalai Lama anymore. But I used to have more respect for the guy. Uh, That's because Hollywood movies made him look like he was some big hero. He was a victim. The Chinese communist government's horrible. And nobody should support socialism. But that's my take. Anyways, um, believe what you want in that respect. But I just want to make that, uh, just, I wanted to make a redaction. It wasn't Lapine, it was uh, Peltier. That, that was the person I was mentioning. And it wasn't, it wasn't Wounded Knee, but it was Pine Ridge. It was 1973, not what I believe would have been 1975. But I, I don't quote me on that. Um, here I go again, right? <laughs> but yeah, I like to uh, keep the facts straight and... Um, try to be as honest as I can about these things. So, um, let me know if you guys have any questions, any, uh, concerns, uh, comments. I appreciate that always. And, um, I'll talk to you guys again soon.
I'm gonna go, I'm at Home Depot, I'm gonna go buy some stuff. But oh, 